yeah, caulk. Remember caulk? Hi guys, it's Brennan Williams with the King of Lando Dub and VI YouTube, and this is a review of episode 5 of Anti Magic Academy, the 35th Test Platoon. So, in this, in this episode, it is revealed that Usagi, the busty blonde girl, is doing poor in school, and her mother is going to withdraw her in a month so she can get wed. Meanwhile, the school is having a witch hunter hunting festival, and winners get money or credit for classes to improve their grades or or uh, graduate early. The group plans to also join forces with the 23rd platoon. Usagi then runs into Rima, her childhood friend and also the organizer of the festival, and she starts hyperventilating and then passes out. Odori is then summoned by the student council president, in which she says her platoon was wiped out by a witch named Me Mephistopheles, who possesses a girl in her platoon, who in turn killed the others. The president believes Rima is the witch, or the wizard. Usagi reveals that Rima is her fiancé, but she doesn't want to marry him. So Chaki invites Usagi to his home, and, I mean, uh, Takira, Takira. Yiru, whatever his name is, to his home, and she thinks the only way to stop the forces, forced marriage is to have sex with Taki and have a kid. Taki gets caught by the others holding a naked Usagi. They decide to solve Usagi's problems after they beat up Taki for holding on to a girl that was totally naked. And then the show ends in a cosplay photo op. It's a great episode. They could have left the last part, but it was interesting to say the least. Um, I mean, this show is really good, except for the crossplay that I, that should not be mentioned. But this anime is an amazing anime, and I love it. There wasn't much action in this one, but there was a little bit of suspense and a little bit of um, sexuality in here. I like it. You might like it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and God bless. Peace.